All right, auto two. We are going to do a demonstration on what we call KV testing. And here's our KV tester. It's a little tester that's going to show how much voltage is going through each spark plug wire. So it'll give us an idea of the condition of the wires, the condition of the spark plugs, um, air fuel ratio going on inside the cylinder. We want to see it idle um, anywhere from 10,000 to 15,000 volts, something like that. Usually I find cars idle around 10,000. Depends if they're fully warmed up or if they're cold or where they are. It takes more voltage to fire a leaner air fuel mixture. So this has a 9 volt battery in it. Shut it off, turn it on. You can see that red light right there light up. This says conventional, this says inverted. Conventional is on a regular ignition coil engine where we have spark plug wires and we're firing center to side electrode. If we have a DIS car, some cylinders will fire conventional center to side terminal and some will fire uh, inverted, which is side to center. This one is not a DIS. It's just a single coil car, so it's going to be on the conventional one. What's going to happen is we're going to start the car. We've got the negative battery lead, um, the negative lead of the tester to the negative battery lead right there. And then this guy clips over a spark plug wire and inductively, in other words, through the wire insulation, measures the voltage going through that spark plug wire. So hopefully you can see down here. And I'll bring the camera over so you can see a little more clearly. So there's the tester right there on that spark plug wire. And you can see it's just clipped on there, okay? So what's going to happen is we're going to start the car. And um, and I'm going to take the tester, and with this thumb wheel on the side right here, that's volts in thousands of of thousands of volts. So that 10 is 10,000 volts. And so what we do is we go down to this light is solid, and we start going up. And when it just begins to flash, that's how much voltage is going through that wire, right about there. So I'm going to start the car. It'll be a little noisy. I'll hold this up. You'll see this light light up. You'll see me start turning this counterclockwise. And when it starts to flash, I'll stop, and that'll be our reading. Then I'll go to the next cylinder. I'll do a couple cylinders, then I'll shut the car off. Here we go. So there it's solid. Now I'm going to scroll it up so it just starts to flash right about there. And we're reading, boy, about 16,000 volts. I know it's difficult for you to see. Maybe if I get, yeah, you can see it there, right about 16. So if I go down to 15, the light's still oh, starting to flash. I'm going to go to 14, still flashing. So now as it warms up, it's dropping in voltage. There, it's solid. So I'd say we're about about there. So maybe about 14,000 volts. Let me go to another spark plug wire. Just clicked on another one. It was crashing right about 15,000. Into another one. Starting to flash right about fifteen thousand.
sometimes it's a little tough to get a stable reading depending on how close you are to another spark plug wire and how good your ground is. But basically I'm seeing about 15,000 volts going through each of these plug wires. And that's going to tell me that, um, and that's pretty standard, pretty good. What I'm looking for is if I have a cylinder maybe where the power balance is weak and it's not um, contributing as much power, I want to look at that voltage and see if I can see if there's a problem with the plug or the plug wire. So all these seem to be fine. So that's called KV testing, KV thousands of volts. It's measuring the voltage traveling through the spark plug wire. Gives us an indication of what's going on in the cylinder, what's going on in the ignition system. Kind of a cool test. The tester is about $100 new. All right, that's it for now.